This is a reading of Brenda's blog, titled, It's Playtime. Dear ones, up, down, and all around seems to be your action mode now. You feel as if you're not necessarily in control of your life. At the same time, you like where you are. Contentment that feels out of proportion to all that is happening in your outer world. Your days fly by with not a lot of activity, and yet your days seem short, and yes, active. You are now jumping between dimensions and frequencies. Your mind might seem foggy or blank for a bit, only to discover that three or four hours have passed. Or you find yourself distracted or seemingly in two places at once. You dare to jump between timelines and places for one of the first times in your eons of Earth lives. Even though you are neither here nor there, others attest to your physical presence. In the not very distant past, you felt alone and lonely. Now you wonder what happened to your day. Very little interests you, especially if it is a 3D activity, for your dimension or frequency jumping is more exciting than any 3D activity. Perhaps you wonder why you do not remember dimension or frequency jumping. You will, just not today. You purposely negate these memories, for remembering them now might frighten you more than you can imagine. This is practice time. You are determining what frequencies or dimensions are most comfortable. That is not to say you will always remain in the same frequency and or dimension, but instead that you are discovering your most comfortable place as you initiate your new being. This practice phase is quite enjoyable because you are returning to some of the sweet spots you negated by being of the earth in any lifetime. You are combining the old with the new, for you have jumped dimensions and frequencies since your inception before time began. A large part of your new being is incorporating your totality into your current being. You are now strong enough to travel through dimensions and frequencies at will for you are no longer weighted down with the 3D expectations or lack of knowingness. Once you removed your 3D beliefs of what you were incapable of, you allowed new earth skills to permeate your being, including those you accessed in other locations. So it is you float through your day as you attend to your 3D routine. A routine that has been reduced to the basics because you no longer have 3D shoulds and guilt to weigh you down. You are a new being with interests that perhaps surprise you, but the most amazing piece is that you are no longer constrained by the 3D earth boundaries you are accustomed to for eons. You are free to explore two or more areas, minute by minute. Something you have always been capable of, unless you are of 3D earth. This lightness of being, this rapid shift during your day, is one of your new interest areas, an area that will become as familiar to you as grocery shopping is now, and as familiarity that will soon be more visible than is now true. For you are tired at the end of your day, even though you do not seem to have completed many activities. While you are in your physical body checking your messages, completing your paperwork, cooking your dinner, gardening, or any everyday 3D activity, you are flying hither and yon, determining which dimension and or frequency is the most fun for you. For your decisions are based on fun and joy, instead of shoulds. You are a new being in a new world, opening more rapidly than you understand. Imagine awakening as a child, and your parents encourage you to explore whatever you wish, when you wish, and informing you that household chores, school, or any other should, is no longer important. So it is for you now. You have completed your personal preparations for this life. Now, 
play on the earth or any dimension or frequency that feels enjoyable. Work, shoulds, have-tos, and wishes are over. It's playtime. So be it. Amen.